Well, we're finally getting to this next story. We kept putting it off. Now we know why. A new study says procrastination may be genetic. So maybe we just can't help it. Chris Brown explains. Taxes and death may be life certainties, but bookkeeper Taya Mali says putting off doing your taxes comes a close third. Every day, she says, people bring in shoeboxes full of receipts and forms they know they should have dealt with sooner. But it, sometimes it takes someone like six months to a year to actually, like once they've first contacted us, to when they can actually come in with everything. We value the now, the short-term pleasure, so, so much more than the future. So we don't feel motivation until just before deadlines. Now, new research from the University of Colorado suggests part of the reason why some people procrastinate may in fact be genetic. Researchers studied 181 sets of identical twins and 166 fraternal twins. Their conclusion, the more shared genes, the more similar people's tendencies to put things off. Vancouver mechanic Brad Tremblay has no doubt genetics matter. We see certain families, generations of people like that act the same depending on how they were raised. So I'll see uh, one family who's, you know, the cousins and the family, they don't want to do certain maintenance. The Colorado study also found that the worst procrastinators also tend to be especially impulsive, which may point to some possible solutions to deal with procrastination. We should be focusing on a lot of techniques that we already know and there are no that work that reduce the effect of impulsiveness. Um, distancing temptations, just just a little bit. University students are legendary procrastinators. Even talking to us was a way for these young women to avoid studying. Facebook is, is pretty bad. <laughs> Facebook is definitely the yeah. one problem when I open my computer. They've installed apps on their smartphones to help avoid distractions. You enter all the websites that you want to not visit when you're yeah. studying and it, it blocks them. them. And so it doesn't matter what browser you go on, what anything, it doesn't even matter if you restart your computer, it like just blocks it. Of course, you could always just buy a book with advice about how not to procrastinate, but there's obviously no guarantee you'd ever get around to reading it. Peter. All right, Chris, thank you. Chris Brown in Vancouver.